All right, welcome everybody. If you're just joining us, we have 68 participants on the line. That is 32 short of our 100, which is our target every single day that we do this call. So let's make sure we invite our teammates to get on the call so they can hear from Mr. Money Michael Huggins. Now, if you're new to the call or if you haven't heard Michael's story, before getting started with Renatus, Michael was drowning in student debt. He had been making monthly payments mostly towards interest and very little towards principal and knew if he was continuing down that path, he would never be able to pay it off. Around this time, he was working two low wage jobs as an auto mechanic at Sears Auto Center and Jiffy Auto Loop was trying to find a way out to get to increase his income generation and wealth creation opportunities. After a few failed attempts, he finally found Renatus, just like many of us did. And he actually took the business very seriously. He would, you know, stay up watching his classes. In fact, he would be working hard and watching the classes at the same time. He would be sleep deprived many of the times, holding his eyes open with his fingers while eating food, watching the classes, while building a national marketing team. Now, if we fast forward eight and a half years later, Michael is now a seven figure income earner. He is the number one income earner at Renatus. And we are just very fortunate to have him share the lessons that he's learned along the way. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on the line, Mr. Michael Huggins. Good morning, Michael. How is your morning going today? So far, so great. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being on the call, Abby. Thanks for setting this up. And welcome, everybody. Coming to you live from Tennessee. Getting some work done this weekend. And uh, happy to be spending this morning with you. Got my iPad all hooked up here. And Abby brought up a good point. We have the uh, live education week coming up real quick. So uh, it's a big opportunity for you to take advantage of this for your real estate career, but also for your marketing career. So the, uh, I want to talk to you today about properly uh, getting guests to events to make money. The whole thing about what I'm trying to help you with is to make more money. Now, I don't care what you do with the money, okay? I really don't. Um, but what I, what I am looking for is some consistency with what you say as an IMA and what you want and what you do. What you say and what you do has got to be lined up. So what stops most of us from what? what we say and what we do. There's a gap, right? There's what we say, then there's this gap, then there's what we do, and then the results. What, what I want to talk about is this gap because what we're saying is we want to make more money. We want to create a secure future, but then we don't do the things necessary for the result. It's kind of silly, right? It's back and forth game. never ends. So... I'm just going to share to my the best of my abilities what I do to get around this kind of stuff so that maybe you could copy. You can get something out of it too. All right. So. Here we go. iPad. Switch. Here we go. Okay. Screen. Activate. Okay, result based activity. Uh, where is it? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you could see my screen right now. Stop sharing. Let's try this one more time. Okay, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Let's make some money. Ba boom. Where is it? Uh huh. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. 
That's not it. Uh, <laughs> Let me try something else. While this is working, stop sharing. Could you guys see my screen, my little squiggles that I was drawing? It's over in the trees, good. Share, iPad. Hello. Okay, well, while I'm clicking some buttons, let's talk. Okay. It is the end of July, beginning of August. We got August, September, October, November, December. We got five months to make up for any income deficiencies that we've had throughout the year. Now, some of you are brand new. This is your first week, and some of you, this is your fifth year, and we need to... It's interesting talking to both of you guys, kinds of IMAs at the same time. But, uh, okay, opportunity, August 1st and 2nd, and a different opportunity for August 3rd. Okay, August 1st and 2nd is basically for you you as a student, your education, what you paid for, your education. So go there and be there. And then August 3rd is for guest attendance. Guests get to test drive. What do people do right before they buy something? They test drive it. So if your guests are test driving something, that's the step right before they buy. And then buying is the step right before you get paid. So let's get as many test drives going as we can. This is the name of the game this week. Test drives, you know, virtually test drives. Um, test driving if you can just actually drive there, right? Test driving. Okay. So how do we get people there? Well, uh, first, let's talk about August 1st and 2nd because this is also an opportunity to be building for events. August 1st and 2nd. So to quickly recap, the topics are uh, due diligence. Due diligence. On the first, so due diligence is going to be taught by Nathan Tabor, and he buys $100 million properties at a time. Uh, you know, just pick up a $50 million building here, $20 million building there, $100 million building there. And there's a method to doing due diligence so that you can safely and confidently go out there and buy some more income producing assets. So due diligence is on the first and then seller financing and the update to subject two is going to be on the second. Okay. And this is going to be taught by Brian Sump. So we got Nathan Tabor over here. We got Brian Sump over here. Now, you, all of you go attend and all of you stream it because this is for your education and you're unfolding as an investor. But then also, we have an opportunity to test drive it. So, um, basically, each day has an A and a B session. All right, A session's in the morning, B session is in the afternoon. So guests can attend one of these sessions. There's four test driving opportunities right here for Thursday and Friday. Now, obviously, if you live out of state, your test drives are only going to be on the third. 
that's why we make those kind of days, right? Now we want butts and seats, we need butts and seats. We need a hundred people in attendance. 100 people for each of these days, for each of these classes. Okay, because remember we're making an online product at the same time. So if all of you stay home, I'm talking to all of you watching this and catching the recording, if you all stay home while we're making this recording, good, you got the content, but how does the, the new students experience when they go and watch a class? You know, we got hundreds and hundreds of students streaming it in the same state, thousands streaming it around the country, and there's five people in the studio. That's <laughs> It's not going to make the product, the end product that we all get to be involved in. Let's make it look better. So attend. Plus, plus, in attendance, you also get to meet the instructors. Why do you think it's so much easier for me to edify the instructors, to build for events, to get my guests there? Because they know the instructors. I met them. I got to work with them. And so you'll have that same opportunity. It's going to make it easier for you to sell Renatus the more instructors you meet. It's going to make it easier to sell the Renatus program by meeting more and more instructors. The more you meet, easier it is to sell. Wasn't that interesting? Sell more. Get paid more. So... Um, yeah, let's get guests there. A and B sessions, Thursday and Friday, get guests there and attend. Take the day off. Take the day off work if you have a job and be there. Okay, so that's for your unfoldment as a, as a student, right? You still need to watch it and participate August 1st and 2nd. And then August 3rd, is where we get to test drive fix and flip class. And this is where most people get their feet wet with real estate. Because if you can understand how to do a fix and flip on a residential property, you, can, you know how to do it on a multifamily, on a commercial, on a piece of land. A fix and flip is like the transaction down and then you can modify it to any other type of transaction or style or property you want to do. So let's test drive let's fix and flip class. Okay. So now you get what we're doing it. Now let's go over the how and the why. Because it's way easier than a lot of you are acting like. I want you to get the results that I'm getting so we can have more fun. If all of you are doing economically better, then when I say, hey, let's go blankety blank, you don't have to say, well, let me check my wallet or let me check my, with my boss. Don't you hate it? Isn't that stupid? It's annoying. You could do better. Where does this all come from? We're looking for a new result. The result here is more money. We want the Moore's monies. Well, we only get the monies by adding value to the marketplace. Okay, adding value by being a shoulder to cry on is valuable. I get it, but not to the marketplace. Okay, so we need to make sure we're adding value to the economy the economy to the where all the people are and where all their wallets are you only get paid by adding value to the economy okay not adding value to your family not adding value to your church or to your uh, charities and to your different things going out in your garden and adding value to the bugs and the beetles great but it's not gonna make a lick of beans difference unless you're adding value to the marketplace now when I say the marketplace it just means people the people and the people have the money we need to go add value to people which means you have to talk to people 
You know, be afraid of people. Do you imagine that you're trying to help people while being afraid of them? How are you making them? How are you going to talk to anybody? Do you imagine if someone was afraid of you while they were trying to help you? Right? Like, let's say you're going to Lowe's and you're getting some help loading up your truck, but someone's afraid of you. How how helpful is that help going to be? It's not very helpful. So, <laughs> can't be afraid of people while we're trying to help them. Okay, so we've got to love people. Let's get our attitude right around the people. Love people and I use money. Love people and use money. Help people. Use money. It's our attitude. It's our philosophy. It's our, it's our way of being. Love people and use the money. So our main goal is to add value. Any value, we want to add value, we want to add value. People say, why are you here? When you say, when you're wondering, why am I here? What am I doing? You just remind yourself, I'm here, add value. The value adder, the more value I add, the more money I make. Pretty simple equation, but you got to take massive action at it. It's like flying an airplane. Simple. Put more air under the wings, the things go up. That's it. This is simple. But <laughs> it's a complex machine sometimes, right? So this is simple. Add more value to get paid. Now have a go about it. You can go about it 10 different ways. Go about it in the simplest way that I can show you. Okay. So the value. Value is in a new understanding. What is the most valuable thing? Is a new understanding. I could get into the why and the why and the why. This is the value, but I'd rather not. I'd rather go into the how. Use it. Why? That's okay with you. But getting someone a new understanding of how things work. is the most valuable right if you understood how a car works now you can drive if you understand how a gun works now you can shoot if you understand how your internet works now you can go be productive there the understanding of how something works is the most valuable thing we can help someone with in our business in our profession new understanding of how things work okay the old understanding was 9 to 5 40 years go die the new understanding is make money work for you, focus for a couple years, and then go live. It's quite a, quite a, quite a different way. I, I kind of like it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to help people with this new understanding of how things work. Because that is so valuable, this new understanding is that value, then we get paid. That's it. I mean, seriously, guys. We're here to add value. Value is a new understanding of how things work, and we achieve our results. Gosh darn it. This is too easy. It's a lot of fun drawing, throwing things in. It's too easy. Gotta work hard at it, but this is too easy. We want more money. Great. Go add value to people. Well, what's the value? A new understanding of how things work. Okay. Well, you help them with that, then you get paid. All right, Jen. Uh, so you want to register for and SEOP coming up starting September 28th. You got a question, Jeremy? And those are going to be on the classrooms. are going to be on Thursday evening. Pretty impressive. Building for events while you're still on a call. All right, who else is off mute? There we go. Okay, so the new understanding of how things work is so valuable to people 
that you get paid more than you understand and more than you can under than you realize right now because you're ending suffering in so many ways we could go into that later i want to go into what i do to help people with a new understanding of how things work okay now before i move on from here any clarity I can help provide on what I just drew. I got a cool little cycle. I got arrows and circles and dollar signs. If you're not watching this, uh, you followed along. I got arrows, circles, and dollar signs. Any questions before I go into my next point? You can type it in or it'd be easier if you just came off from you and asked it. But either way. No questions. Must mean it's working. Okay. So, here's one way of thinking about it. Here's you being amazing. Just doing you. Being amazing. Okay. And now... Here we are, we've, we've thought about this whole cycle that we wanna create, right? We want more money, so we're gonna add value. We're gonna help people get a new understanding. We're gonna make more money. And we're gonna just keep this cycle going, okay? Now, Eric Renatus, here's what I've been working on. The good news is 19 out of 20 people that you talk to need what we have, okay? So I go talk, I go find people and I just talk. And I first test for interest. I test for interest. So here's a bunch of people. Now I could go meet them all at once or throughout the week I'm making friends, meeting new people, whatever. But my first thing is I'm going to test for an interest. Are they interested? I'm going to test. I'm going to take a a temperature. I'm going to take their temperature and test for interest, or I'm going to sort, right? I'm going to prospect. Another way of saying that. I'm going to sort. Now, so I'm just going to go through what I did my last to get my last two orders in the system. Okay. So the previous month, I had about this many people I was working with, and I'm sorting and I'm sorting and I'm sorting. And I realized, you know what? That guy's not really serious about what he said. This lady's not serious about what he said. This person stopped answering. This person's not serious. Too many excuses. Nope, nope, this person was serious, but then, oh, nope, neither was this person, neither was this person. Oh, look at all these not serious people. Well, I had a lot of people that said they wanted it, but as I'm going through my sorting process, I'm realizing that less and less people are actually serious and they're more just curious. Now, when we're sorting, that's the difference. Some people are curious versus serious. So, hell to the no on curious people. Wasting my time. Psh, psh. Hell to the no is what I'm saying about that. Curious people, get out of my face. Quit wasting my time. But these serious people are who I'm left with now. Okay, so I, uh, I got M, and I got another M, and I got a K. Oh, and two Ks. Now that I think about it, two Ms and two Ks. That's cool. These are my new serious people I'm working with this month. Okay. Now this first person, uh, I found at a meetup. I found this person at a meetup. I found this person at a meetup. This person is a warm market, and this person I found at a meetup. Now, when I say I found at a meetup, that doesn't mean I hosted. That does not mean that I hosted seven or ten or fifty or two or whatever pretend meetups. That I'm not actually there. I'm not actually uh, hosting it. I didn't make a meetup. I'm just borrowing someone else's meetup. I'm not doing that. What I'm saying is I attended. I attended meetups. I went to meetups and I found people. I met up. So you guys 
or uh, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Here's what I mean. Quick sidestep on meetup. Okay, let me just talk real quick on meetup. Three different approaches. One is attend. Attend meetups and just use what meetup was made for. Number one, best way to do it. Someone else does all the work, all the advertising, all the getting of the people, all the setting up of venues. Someone else does all the uh, organizing of the messages. They, they do it all. They'll do the setup and the teardown. All you got to do is attend. Number one, best idea right there. Just attend them. Number two is host or make a meetup. Right, you gather all the people, you make a meetup. Right, you have a venue, you have an agenda, you have a space for people to meet, you have value to add. That's why they're meeting. It doesn't matter if it's for real estate or puppy training or mountain biking or climbing or painting, it doesn't matter. But you have gathered, you have an agenda you got in a venue and you have some value to add. So you could go through option number two and be that person. Both of those are mega valuable. Now the least valuable, the least effort, and unfortunately the most often used is this third one where you piggyback. What I mean is, you found someone else that's doing number two and you are piggybacking off of them. All right, so they have an event and then you posted an event that goes to an event that goes to an event that goes to someone actual meetup. So you're not there. You're not helping with the meetup. All you did was post some ads online and then confuse people about what the heck they're actually attending. So I don't recommend this one very much, okay? Now you could piggyback if your five star is hosting the event and you are adding to that and you're trying to get a bunch of people at your event, but it's an event that you're hosting. That makes way more sense. Okay, but this third one of like someone else making an event and then you made an event to make an event to post an event, but you're not actually there, you're not helping someone else is doing it, it's not one that's not proper expectations for the guest. Okay, so it's already harder for that guest to get involved. And you're trying to get them involved. Don't you want to make it easy for them to get involved so you can get paid? Okay. And then number two is uh, it's way harder on all the, act, the IMAs that are actually hosting something, hosting their weekly meeting or hosting their cash flow or their house tour. If you're not there to help, you're not there to uh, create understanding for your guests. Remember, that's the whole value is creating a new understanding. This just isn't as valuable. It's not that valuable. Okay. So what I did to find my guests over the last week is I attended. I attended. I went to someone else's meetups and I attended and I found people they want to meet up and um, so now that we've talked about that Michael can you hear me I can hear you what's up hi good morning this is Sherry Wallace from New Jersey I have a question I went to a meetup that was hosted locally in my community and when the host did the introduction they kind of bashed um, the whole education component um, they, they, they just was promoting, you know, getting free education. Um, I did network. I did exchange my contact information with a few of the members there or the few of the guests that were there. But how would you handle that situation? So you're telling me an IMA? It, was an no, IMA. it wasn't an IMA. It, was, oh. it wasn't a Renatus event. It was, a, it was just another real estate meetup that was in my community. And I oh. attended well, I would, yeah, that sounds fun. I would go make all a bunch of friends with everyone. And then we all know this, especially in America, but you know that you get what you pay for. So some people are there for free stuff and some people are there for more. And so I would just keep networking and making friends and find out 
who's curious and who's serious. Because you know people who attend things for free to just get free stuff for free for free. They're not serious. So they're just curious. But a few people are that are serious are using that as a stepping stone to get to the next thing. And so um, you know you're getting value out of your Renatus education. So if you meet other people, obviously they're willing to get out of their house and find something. So yeah, you just get contact info and, and give them a test drive of August 3rd. We got this intensive coming up, right? So if you host it at your house or at a public spot near you, or if your five stars got a spot, whatever, a restaurant, a library, uh, all these um, Regis or Office Evolution or WeWork, these cool places, you can go rent a spot for 100, 200 bucks and then go fill the room with this stream. But yeah, I would attend those all the time. And uh, um, I would, I would. Uh, <laughs> don't, and don't, I, sh I should continue to attend, but not feel intimidated when they start with that. Oh, you can get this education for free. You don't have to pay anything. Right. Because I've gone before and um, one of the guests did ask if it was a Renatus event and the host acknowledged that I was, you know, from the Renatus community and he introduced me to the guests. So that went well. But, um, you know, it doesn't always go that smoothly. Right. Well, I would I would keep that one in my back pocket and I would attend other ones, too. Right. There's a. Uh... There's so many out there and other people are interested in adding value to you because you have a product, you're a salesperson out in America. And there are people who understand that there are a lot of people like you and so they want to make meetups for people like you to meet other people like you. And that, that's how it is in Denver and Salt Lake anyway. There's a lot of people wanting to meet up for the sake of adding value to other entrepreneurs. So, um, you know, don't, don't ever be intimidated. Not just in this scenario, but ever in your life, don't ever be intimidated. That's just made up stories in your head being intimidated. It's not real. So, yeah, those people are out there wanting value. Go be do your best to add value. There's ways we add value in Renatus for free in an attempt to get a sale, right? House tours and cash flows and uh, follow-ups and velocity banking. We do a lot of stuff for free. So... Uh, so just keep that in your mind. We're always here to add value to people. Thank you. You betcha. Okay. What are some examples for you test? So the testing of interest, testing is more of listening. Listening, listening, and a lot more listening. That testing for interest is this is one of the most valuable skills ever, and most of us are awful when it comes to listening. But listening, not waiting to talk. Some people are waiting to talk. And so they shut their mouth, and they nod, and they smile, and they go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But they're really just waiting to talk. You need to be listening with nothing to say. So when I was listening to these three people at the meetup, they're all entrepreneurs. They're hungry. I know they make a lot of money. Uh, when I say a lot, I mean uh, more than 70 grand, right? Their happiness is no longer affected by their income. But I can also tell that all of them are self-employed, self-employed, and self-employed. Well, what does that mean if someone's self-employed? If they're not in an S-corp, they're paying self-employment tax. Holy crap. 15.3% on $70,000. Shnikes, that's like 10,000 bucks. I could go help this person save $10,000 in self-employment tax with one freaking idea. I'm going to go be valuable to these people with a passion. Now, this one of these people, this lady, she is a self-employed financial planner. Debt free. She owns her house free and clear, her car free and clear. She owns her business free and clear. She's been doing it for 20 years, but she's paying self-employment tax. So I could go be valuable to her. And she's a financial planner. 
but she doesn't understand this stuff. She only understands how to sell stocks and that's how most financial planners are. So I'm going to go be valuable. But you, as a new IMA, could, if you believed in being intimidated, you could go be intimidated by a 20-year career financial planner person. But I'm telling you, stop with the being intimidated. You go plenty, plenty of YouTube videos on how to not be intimidated. Or you could just come to this logical understanding. Being intimidated is made up in your head. All of it. You decided that this and this and this meant I feel intimidated. And you made up a rule and now you follow that rule. But all the rules are your rules. Make up a different rule. No need to be intimidated, especially if you have the biggest smile on. And you're really here to add value, right? You're here in America. You're here in the participating in the economy to be the most valuable you can be. So, there, so intimidation does not exist. All right, I got a couple chats. Let me, let me check these real quick. All right, Anthony says, my strategy would not puke all over them. Build a relationship with them and show them how and why you're successful. Um, okay, so while I was, so I, at the meetup, I met these folks, right? But then uh, I, I built a little bit of a relationship, like what Andrew was saying. I talked about where I'm from, where are you from? How many kids do you have? What kind of dog do you have? What do you do for fun? What else do you do for fun? And what else do you do for fun? And what else do you do for fun? I want to be in the back of my, in their mind, when they leave, what they want to be talking about with me the most, when they remember the most, is talking about fun with me. Okay? So that's part of my, part of my strategy. Fun. Talking about their fun, how I can help them have more fun in their life, what's fun to them now, what will be fun in the future. Fun, fun, fun. So then when I call them, they go, oh, that's that guy I was talking a lot about fun. And then I, and then I invite them to Renata's however which way I want to do it, one-on-ones, house tours, whatever events, pillars, follow-ups. But all they're thinking about for me is, or what they remember about me is I was there to talk about their fun. Okay. And then we bring up Renata since it's a lot easier. Okay, R Lily says, I've attended most of these free seminars. I only, uh, it only gets you excited but it doesn't give you the real knowledge like Renatus does. So I also point out the value of the Renatus community. I get a lot of do's and don'ts from the investor family. Cool. So yeah, still attend them is what she's saying. Still attend them. Just keep it in the back of your mind that we're here to really add value to those people. So as soon as that free stops being valuable to those folks at the meetups, they'll need something else. And if you're there with a great attitude and you're there to add to the meetup and not take from the meetup, then of course those people will want what you have. All right, Joanne says it is online and can learn for free. However, how do we determine the quality and value of Bernardus? Bernardus wins awards and lifetime access. I had free education and then got the upsell for more important. Yeah, so it's it, there's nothing free. It comes back to that one liner I gave you right at the beginning of this topic. You get what you pay for. If you go into Craigslist and there's a car for free, do you think it's going to work? <laughs> do you think that's going to have every part? Something's going to be missing, right? So it's this whole attitude. You're looking for free. You're going to get free can only last for so long. So you get what you pay for. Yes, this was free. Up until a certain point, it was worth it. So Jesse says, use the lack of results with the free tips people to motivate them to see more. Would you like to come hang out with a bunch of people who figure out how to participate for profit as opposed to just sharing good ideas? And then Tamara's got a question. Good morning. Is there an answer to who can have access to live streaming Saturday? Does it have to be extreme combo? Okay, Tamara, the answer is IMAs. You have to be an IMA. IMAs have access. Now, what is the point of that? Because IMAs sell our education. And what is the point of this event? To sell the education. So if you're not an IMA, what do you need an intensive for? If you're just an education holder, you already have the darn class. <laughs> right? 
So you don't need an intensive. IMAs need intensives because IMAs are salespeople and salespeople need exposures so their guests can be exposed to their product. So if you're not an IMA, become an IMA. So think about this, Tamara. Someone could sign up Friday night as an IMA. They pay their 197. They put in their signatures. Saturday morning, corporate verify signatures. Boom, they got access to the training. So yeah, get them fired up. Show them the earnings plan. Get them fired up about why they should be an IMA. Please don't be a basic cheap ass salesperson and say become an IMA so you can see this intensive. That's not really why you're becoming an IMA. You become an IMA to sell our stuff. You attend this intensive to see what our stuff is like. But if you say buy, pay 197 so you can watch this intensive, then down the road, it just think about if you did that a hundred times. Now you have a hundred people that bought this, paid 197 to watch an intensive. You're gonna have a hundred confused people. You say be an IMA for 197. Now IMAs have access to things like intensives. Does that make sense? You see the difference? Okay, there's definitely a difference. Uh, Amanda, yeah, I save my, my uh, audio business card every time. Depends on the livelihood of the group or the liveliness of the group. If they're really bubbly and fun and laughter is a common thing there, then I'll save my more punchy type ABC or audio business card. Otherwise, uh, I just stick to a traditional one of, I help people get into real estate investing so they can make more money from home and enjoy doing what they're doing and do it with a group. Do it with some fun people. If you're interested, come and talk to me. Just something like that. You know, I really try to be with the group for the group in that moment. Uh, the fix and flip flyer. Lily, it's in the Facebook group, our Renatus Facebook group. Um, but there's also a Google Drive link. Andrew or uh, Anthony, can you add in that Google Live, that Google Google Drive link for the live stream? Thank you. Or not for the live stream for the for the flyers. That's correct. Also with your question, Anthony, no cool off period needed for access. Okay, where did my screen go? That's weird. Let me unplug it, plug it back in. Just disappeared on us. Okay, back in. You should see it now. There we go. Okay, so I'm just trying to be valuable. And I found a very specific way to be valuable to these people because I was listening to their self-employed situation. I looked at their business cards. None of them said Inc. They all said LLC or nothing. So uh, that's my way of being able to add value to that person. But that's the whole point is what can I do to be the most valuable I can be to that, that person? So it depends on what meetup you go to. If you go to a meetup for a bunch of real estate investors versus a meetup for a bunch of self-employed people, right? Versus a meetup for startups or a meetup for active investors. But go attend the ones that are already happening instead of trying to host your own. You're going to have way more success because the leads are already there. The professional uh, atmosphere is already created. And then it'll also be a good example for you if you decide to be a meetup host. Then you can see what other ones are, how they're run, how they communicate to their guests the week before the event, a few days before the event, the day of the event. You could see all these different examples of communication. Meetup. 
see what Meetup decides to do for us right here. Okay, so go into my Meetup, go to Salt Lake, change my, change my zip code. 80209, search, timber. Okay, so here's my meetups, but then there's also going and finding meetups. The Colorado Real Estate Investment Club, nah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, real estate investment house tour tomorrow, 6.30. What is this? Hey, this might be cool. Atlas Real Estate, 37 people are going. Yes, you can save for life events such as college, retirement by investing in real estate, join our expert, blah, 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 followed by networking with other investors in drinks. All right, cool. So now you can even look at how this person described this event. Hosted by Atlas Real Estate, hundreds of millions of dollars for investors, and blah, blah, blah. Wow, cool. Uh, we host the meetup in the former Zhang Mansion across from the Denver Aquarium in Denver. So free parking, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. All right, so join an RSVP. I'm not, I'm not going to actually go, but it says I'm going. Maybe I'll go. Let's see, tomorrow, 6.30... Uh, okay, fine. I'll go. Okay, now it's in my calendar. Cool. So I have a one-on-one -on -one at 8 o'clock. So I'm going to have to leave that follow-up a little bit, or that meet up a little bit early to get to my one-on-one. -on -one. All right. So this is all I do, guys. I just, look, I'm not going to go to beer because hardly anything gets done. But vegan stuff, that sounds fun. Nepalese Vegan Monday Lunch Buffet. Dang. Oh, that's today. Dang it. I have a lot in common with vegan and vegetarian people, so I could go make friends. Go make some friends. Oh, look, there's the Chinese vegan on Thursday. And there's Jill's vegan. So I could go eat while making friends. And say, well, how do you how do you grow your own food? And they're going to be like, oh, we don't. We don't have any land. I don't know how to make any money. Blah. And I'm going to say, you don't have any land? Well, shit, why don't you learn how to buy land so you can make your own food? Because being vegan's awesome, right? And they're going to say, yeah, being vegan's awesome. And I'm going to be like, hey, being a real estate investor is awesome. I'm going to be like, what? See, if you find people in a passionate state and you show them that you're passionate about real estate, passion for passion, they can combine them. Gosh, it gets even easier. This is so much easier than trying to work off of cold leads or responded leads, trying to convince people, blah, blah, blah. Just go have some fun. While you're having fun, if they're having fun, it starts to work. So that's where I met all these meetup people. All right? These people, this person, this person are the people I really concentrated on. Of course, I got other people in the pipeline, people that haven't attended, people who attended once or twice. But now I've had three conversations with these people, and these two orders have gone in. This order is in, and uh, this order from the warm market is in. Okay, but these other two meetups are just uh, OEP has been done. These other two are just a few meetings away. So as soon as I get to Denver, and uh, I already have my follow-ups set up with them. Remember, because we always book a meeting from a meeting. Always, always book a meeting from a meeting. So these people, now I get to do my one-on-ones. Now with meetups, the process is a little bit different. So you go to your meetup, step one, and you make them friends. Step two, we've now made friends. Step three, do a one-on-one, -on -one, either like a coffee or a brunch or a house tour. If they're really interested, do the one-on-one -on -one first, okay? Then once you've made a little more friends and check, you've done your one-on-one, -on -one, then bring them to the four pillars or an intensive, okay? Because if you, I'm telling you, this is the process, it's so much easier. These two steps, if you've done these two steps, you make them friends and you do a one-on-one, -on -one, but do, do yourself a favor. 
No price. Do not go over the price. They're going to ask. They're going to say, well, what about how much is it? And what if, what if? You're going to say, you know what? I would love to show you the price, but I'm not going to go over it now because you have no context. And that just wouldn't be fair. You have no context. So if I say a price, it's just arbitrary. Now, here's how I can get you the context. There's a few ways. And I, I promise... And they're going to give you a look. Maybe they're going to be like, what? Why won't you tell me the price? I thought we were friends. You can say, we are friends. But I'm, there, you have no context. Therefore, you don't deserve a price. Okay? It's like, it's like you're trying to say, you're trying to ask for dessert before dinner. No, you got to eat. You got to eat first. Let's get you the context. So the context, well, why don't you come to this workshop I'm having this week? There's an intensive this month. Or if you're really hungry, I give you a webinar and you can watch it tonight. Okay. Then you can have the context and we can go over the price. Okay. But every time I do these one-on-ones and I talk about Renatus, I give them my, my, uh, I give them like a 10 minute story. I give them a 10 minute testimonial or maybe even a 15 minute testimonial because I got them for an hour. We're just making friends. And I ask them their testimonial. Tell me about you. How did you get this far in life? But, you know, I give them a 15-minute testimonial about how my life changed. Holy shit. Of course they're going to come to a Four Pillars or an intensive or watch a webinar. And the same thing for you. If you tell them your 15-minute version of your story of what's gone on in your mind, what's gone on in your relationships, what's gone on in your goal setting, what's gone on with your understanding and your clarity of your future, the new friends that you've made, the new positive path that you've engaged in you you buy him coffee you talk to him for 15 minutes and then you listen 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 for 15 minutes and you get their testimonial for 15 minutes and you get to know them better for 15 minutes and you just get so wrapped up in their life story and you ask more engaging questions to show that you're interested in their story then it's a simple invitation come and learn more about this either at my intensive this month, my pillars this week, or my webinar tonight. Then you'll have context. You'll understand the price. You'll understand our method and more about our company. And then, and then I can help you with the next event. We got our follow-up, right? You, got, you guys all understand the process from there. We got one-on-ones with five-star, a one-on-one-on-one with a five-star, or another uh, intensive, something like that. But now guess what? Guess what we have in the pipeline? What do we have in the pipeline? Friends. We got friends in the pipeline. Now it's easier to follow up because we're just following up with friends. All right, we're at the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to hop on to the, uh, to the pack call. Got to hop on to the pack call. Is this making sense? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? It's so much easier to follow up with friends. And by this time, they're ready to buy. By this time, right here, it's time to buy because they've already seen it. You made, they were at the meetup. You made friends. You told them what the heck it was for. You told them. You gave them your testimonial about it. Then they came and watched something about it. They took a test drive of it. We follow up a little bit more. Ask them to buy. 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 And have fun while you're doing it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, well, this recording will be uploaded here momentarily for your viewing pleasure. Make sure your teams rewatch it. And uh, let's get, let's, let's make it happen. Just keep this up. Keep it up, keep it up. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Uh, yes, Sherry, Eventbrite is similar to Meetup. I'm using Meetup like how people use Airbnb as a brand, but it's really just the method. But Eventbrite, same thing. Go have some fun, everybody. Talk to you soon. Go add value. Bye.